I'm standing in Parliament Square in central London and behind me the battle lines are being drawn between two taxi titans. On the one side we have Uber, the San Francisco based company recently valued at $18.2 billion that is making an aggressive push into London as part of a bid for global expansion. On the other side we have London's historic black cab sector who have gathered here in protest. They say that the regulator, Transport for London, is allowing Uber to operate illegally in the city. I spoke to two cab drivers on either side of the issue. So what is the protest today about? The uh, protest today is about uh, Transport for London not enforcing the law uh, with regards to meter requirements and the regulations. Uh, Uber are practising with what we see as an illegal uh, meter. It looks like it's more about and against Uber, but they, they, uh, they're making the point it's not about Uber, but uh, the TFL who legislate that kind of business. Are Uber taxis breaking the law and how, if so? They're, what, they're, what they're doing, when the customers are using their facility, at the end of the trip they've provided with a, a receipt that claims waiting time, distance travelled and the amount it costs. Now that is a metre. They're, they haven't got the licence to practice under that, in, that, you know, in that jurisdiction. Not at all. I think we actually could show a few new way how to how to be uh, even more efficient regarding of flow and safety and regulation and everything. And I'm thinking about the, the cash businesses. There is no cash uh, movement involved uh, in an Uber taxi. How is Uber shaking up the taxi industry? Well, at the moment, it's it's. Um you didn't notice it too much, but I think the biggest fear is, is that where do these companies stop? They're already breaking one law, where will they stop with the other laws? First of all, we are the best, <laughs> and they were the best before. As simple as that from me. But we also cheaper, and uh, we are, I think we, we more representing the future, because we are using the technology uh, on the most efficient way. Why would customers choose an Uber taxi over a black cab? I haven't a clue. I don't, under, I don't understand why people, you know, fundamentally it must come down to costs. However, I don't see where the, the savings are. It's a really, really friendly option for all of us. I mean, for the driver, for the passenger as well. Plus, cheaper if somebody look at that side of it. Do you think black cabs will survive? We, we've been here for we've been here for longer than the, than Uber has been here, we've been here for centuries, so we will survive and we will continue to demonstrate. I think a brand new generation of black caps will survive only, because I already saw the new design of the new car, the new black cab, and it's beautiful. It's comfortable, it's convenient, it's economical, and it's, it's, it's brilliant. Plus, I think there is a new generation for black cab drivers as well, who's happy to put on a suit, you know, even a hat or, you know, just looking like he's the ambassador of London. But the old, grumpy, rude uh, black cab drivers, no way they're going to survive. For some, the controversy is about an American company not understanding the importance of a British icon like the black cab. For others, it is a classic case of technological disruption, beloved by consumers, but upsetting the traditional players. Sally Davies, Financial Times, London.